everyone, welcome to another Simon Says Stamp video. Today I'm going to be making some simple origami boxes that you could use for holiday treats for neighbors or friends. Um, I'm going to, and I'm going to show you how to do it using a lunch bag. This is a larger lunch bag. And okay, so now I have this really large piece of lightweight craft paper. And this is really great for making this box because you don't want to use any papers that are too heavy. So even like... Um, this paper from October afternoon, we're gonna use this paper to decorate the box once we're done, but trying to create the box out of this paper is just a little bit too heavyweight, and so that's why I'm using the paper bag. Okay, so I've cut down the paper bag so it's flat and all the panels are showing. I'm gonna cut this to two pieces that are exactly eight inches by eight inches. Okay, take that back. One is eight by eight and the other is seven and five eighths by seven and five eighths. You just need one a little bit smaller so that when you make the box, it can uh, slip inside the other. So I have the eight by eight paper here and we're gonna start by folding it in half one way and also folding it in half the other way. Okay, now we're gonna take the corners and bring them into the center. Okay, now's the point where if you want to decorate your bag at all, you're going to turn it over and stamp on this area or use a pen or whatever. I'm gonna be decorating with some paper and some punched pieces later, so I'm gonna keep mine plain. But I'm gonna take the straight edge and fold it into the center. Do that on all four sides actually. This is why you need kind of a lighter weight paper. You don't want cardstock because you're folding these over quite a bit. All right, I'm gonna fold this one in as well. Okay, now I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna pull one area all the way out. I'm going to turn it vertically and these little areas right here I'm actually going to let it kind of bend in just like that. It really wants to. It's kind of been folded that way. I'll do that on both sides. Just fold those in and then this one's going to go down and that forms the first side of the box. And I'll go to this other side and I'll do the same thing, kind of bend those in. And I'll And then you're going to take a little bit of adhesive or a little bit of tape and just get these corners to stay inside. I'm just going to lift the little bottoms there, put a little bit of adhesive down, and then it's not going to budge. Increase your edges. Okay, and that's going to be the top of our box. And I love doing these out of paper bags because it looks like, like an old time bakery box or just craft. I just love craft in general. So I'm going to go ahead and do that out of the smaller paper as well. Okay, so with the smaller box, this one will fit right over top. Just like that. And then it'll close up. And then you can put your treats inside. Okay, so now that we've got our box, I'm gonna go ahead and start decorating. It would be really fun just to take some bakery twine, some baker's twine and go over it. Some baker's twine and just tying in a little bow on top. Okay, so that would be a super cute gift right there. 
Okay, another way you can decorate your box is with pattern paper. So I have this strip of some October afternoon pattern paper from their Holiday Style 8x8 pad. I punched it with the Double Bubble Fiskars Edge Punch. This is a new punch to Simon Says Stamp. And I just punched both edges so that it would be, you know, just it would fit right there on the box. And then I measured the space in between those two punched edges. And I cut another piece of pattern paper. I cut it at a diagonal so the plow to be diagonal. And now I'm going to take the box, I'm going to measure how much it is from um, corner to corner. And it looks like it's about, it's just shy of three inches. So I'm going to take my scoring board and I'm going to get about, you know, the three inches in there. So we'll start at three and I'll come up to six and I'll go just shy. I want to make sure that that's going to be the right fold, so that looks like it's going to be just perfect. Okay. So now I'm going to put just a little strip of adhesive. Oh, I have a Manny fur on there. There we go. A little strip of adhesive on that one, and also put some on this one. I'm going to get that folded so it's ready. This one's going to go down first. Let's glue that down. I'm also going to add some adhesive on these edges. Just fold that up. Oh, adhesive missed on this side. Okay. And I'm just going to trim that clean right there. Take the bottom one out. And I'm just going to trim across right there. And now on this one, I think I'm going to go ahead and put adhesive all the way along the entire strip. Okay, and on this one, I'm actually going to fold it in. And it might be just a little bit too long, so I'm going to trim that and then fold it all the way in. Okay, have a scrap of red gingham and just tie that around. Okay, so there's another way to use the punches to decorate the box. Okay, I've done the same with this pattern paper except I used this punch from Martha Stewart Crafts. It does kind of a little, um, I don't know, a little sprig of pine tree or something like that to a little bit of Christmas tree. So I'm going to score this and then I'll put it straight onto the box. Okay, and now I have some pale blue gingham. I'm going to wrap that around and tie that in a bow on top. Okay, so then there's that little package as well. So I hope that gave you some ideas on what to do to package little treats for neighbors or friends. And it also gives you something to do with all of your edge punches and a little, some lunch bags that are just sitting around. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.